Jeju's popularity as a vacation destination, especially among foreigners, is expected to surge in the coming years. To better welcome them, the government is looking to spruce up the island's one and only airport, and soon. Our Kim Hyun-bin has this report. The only way to fly into Jeju is through the Jeju International Airport. First opened in 1968, it has undergone numerous add-ons and updates to grow with the area's expanding tourism. But after 44 years, it's struggling to keep up. Seeing as how the island is not only a popular destination among locals, but also growing numbers of foreign tourists, the Korean government thinks it's time the airport gets a major makeover. Recently, especially during holidays and certain seasons, I've noticed that airports get very overcrowded with people. A five-year study released last week by the Transport Ministry showed the number of air travelers passing through Jeju International reached 20 million last year. However, it's expected to more than double to 44 million by the year 2030. In four years, the airport's runways will be unable to handle the increased traffic. Meanwhile, visitors from around the region continue to pour in. The number of Chinese tourists alone has spiked more than tenfold, from about 175,000 in 2008 to over 1.8 million last year. In light of the data, the ministry says the feasibility study for expansion of the airport will be launched soon, in order to accommodate the future influx of visitors. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.